Hi all. In this video, let's learn about Create React app and its, some of its features. So, what is this Create React app? So we know Create React app is like a, it will provide the zero configuration React application. So anyone who wants to develop a React application, they no need to configure the Webpack, uh, Babel transpiler, and the live reloading. We no need to think of all these configurations. So just if you run these commands, so create React app. If you create an application with these commands, it will be providing us all these functionalities. So this is like a zero configuration setup to start with the React application. So this is in short about create React app. So today let's discuss some more few interesting points regarding this. So what if, if you want to develop a React application along with the Redux, Redux uh, design pattern? to maintain the state. So then you need, just need to create a boilerplate with this command. So you need to use npx. So do this, npx means uh, we are running uh, node package executable, create React, React app and Redux boilerplate. So Redux boilerplate, just for the, I'm creating a Redux boilerplate application and now I need Redux boilerplate as I mean the support to, for the Redux as well. I need a React application in which I need the support to uh, for Redux so that I can uh, have the state management as well. So for that you need to type like this. So npx create React app, the project name hyphen f and template, and you need to type Redux. So if you do this, you will be getting a boilerplate of the React React and Redux application. So this is for JavaScript. So if you need the Redux application uh, with respect to the TypeScript, then you need to do the same command with the TypeScript at the end. So this will provide the TypeScript application. This will provide just a JavaScript and this will provide the TypeScript. So let's see what this uh, Redux boilerplate will give us. So initially it will give a counter example for the demo, which we can use with the Redux, which we are using with the Redux. It will provide a store and it will provide the Redux development toolkit as well and also it will provide the provider so that you can pass your store down to the all other components so it is it means like it is a state management you can pass this to all other components so this is all uh, what it provides so let's see that how it looks when you run that project you will be looking uh, an a sample application like this so this is what we'll be getting so all this is maintained with the redex so this is the best way to start with the Redux and React project. So coming to the second point. So this is also same like a Redux. If you need a React application with a TypeScript support, then you need to run the same command and TypeScript boilerplate. So this is a project name. This can be anything. So TypeScript boilerplate, hyphen hyphen template. So if you run this and uh, TypeScript, that's it. So it in sense you are running this command to create a TypeScript boilerplate project name, and you need you are giving the, you need a template, and you are passing this parameter as a TypeScript. So now you will be getting a TypeScript supported React project. So that looks like this. So let me show you. See that looks like this. So usually, if you develop any of the application, so if you create any of the create React application, you will be getting the extensions as JS, not TSX. So as we have created this application with the create react app with the template of TypeScript. So we have this support of TypeScript. So there are inbuilt got this TypeScript and tsconfig.json as so we could able to get. So this would be the another best way to start with the uh, TypeScript by using the create react app. So coming to the other third point. So how to use the environment variables in our application. So for that, so initially you need to go to the project folder, create, usually why we use this environment variables is we are trying to inject the environment variables, the way outside variables, we are trying to inject that inside our project. For that purpose, we'll be using this environment variables, how to create them in the create react app application and how to use them. So for that, at the root project level, you create a file called .env, so environment file, and you can place your what you say you can place your environment variable but the environment variable name should prefix for sure with react underscore app 
this should be the prefix if you are not prefixing with this you can't access this in the application so this is a main important point we need to understand so for each and every environment variable you need to declare like this like for example i will uh, show you api key okay let's say this is one of the uh, one of the key and again if you want to create one, uh, one more environment variable then you need to prefix with react underscore app underscore this and access token so usually we used to give the caps letters so this is how we do so now this is how we we are going to create our environment variables so how to access them is so once you create any of the environment variables and if you want to access them then sure surely you need to restart your server so how to access them so for example you can access them like this so just i am using some flower base interpolation so here process dot env dot you can use that variable here react dot react app so then if this can be accessed here so the same if you wanted to access in any of the html pages so then then what you need to do is so let me show you so if you want to access the environment variables in the html page so then you can do like this so here you have given a title like this so instead of that you can do another thing like uh, i'm copying this and i'm pasting it so let me show you how to access environment variables in the html page for that you need to keep percentage symbol in front like this and now you need to keep your environment variable here so in this way you can access your environment variable in the html page as well so this is a title uh, in this way you can create your environment variables and access environment variables so most of the cases will be ignoring like i will be forgetting this react app prefix so that's the reason if you forget this you will be if you try to access api key also you will be getting as undefined so this is about how to use the uh, environment variables so coming to the fourth point so how to use the polyfills in the create react app so to use the polyfills so let's understand what are these polyfills first so polyfills means it's an provision like if you develop any of the application with any of the functionality latest functionality latest features so these features or these methods will not understand by the older browsers older older browsers can't understand this latest features or functions so for that we need to use or include the polyfills so for that what we need to do is first of all we need to uh, install the polyfill package so let me show you so we need to install the polyfill package like a uh, core hyphen js so this is a polyfill sorry cross not cross it is core core hyphen js so if you install core hyphen js so now this will help us to add the polyfill in our application so now once it is installed go to the main main file of your application that is index.js and include this polyfill like uh, so you need to import this polyfill in your application like uh, import what all the features you are using like a uh, core hyphen js so now if you want to use a function like a uh, array function find so let's say uh, the older browsers can't understand this find function and you are using that find function in your code so if you run this code in the older functions then it will be break at this point because older functions can't understand this find function so that's the reason you are including this find function explicitly so that this polyfill core js polyfill can handle this find function in the older older browsers so this is how you can include the polyfills in our create react app not only in the create react app you can use this in anywhere anywhere as well so coming to the fifth point that is the last point how to add the https to the create react app so let's go here so just keep https is equal to true if you do this and restart your service server so let me restart it so if you restart your server so then i'm uh, just restarting my server so before that let me remove this so i think uh, i will uh, comment this for some time so i will restart this with the just keep http is equal to true then your application will support https 
So once any change you do in the environment file, the thing you need to do is you need to restart your service. So now I'm again restarting this to npm start. So once you go back to the browser, so let me show you. So still uh, browser not see. When you go back to the uh, browser, you will be you could able to see a page like this. So it means your application is a uh, routed to HTTPS. So you need to click advanced and proceed to localhost there. So now. It, and this is how you can uh, use HTTPS in your Create React app. For more details, you can visit this uh, website, createreactapp.dev. You can have doc documentation here. So you can find many more details uh, regarding this Create React app. So hope you understand with, with this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.